Good morning. So, so I want to talk to you guys about staying on track because I think it's a big thing that people get stuck with and it all comes down to that mentality of like, you know, the one bad day or whatever it is that carries on. And that's when people get really, really stuck. They're like, oh, you know, I've ruined it. My progress is done. Oh, my weight's up. And it's like when people first, you know, overeat, they have that day or whatever it is and their weight is up, like the next day when they weigh themselves, it's like, what do you expect to happen when you eat more food? When you have something that may be higher in salt, when you have something that's maybe higher in carbohydrate, when you have all these things, like what the fuck do you expect to happen? Of course the scale's gonna go up. And then people get upset about it, like, oh man, the scale's gone up, fuck, like they're stressing about it. It's like, again, what did you expect was going to happen when you ate more than your body is used to? You know, you've got more food volume in your stomach, which will also make you heavier. The thing that we do not want to do is let that mentality throw us off and you know, that whole black and white mentality, fuck it mentality, all these things, they become the big issue, right? So we want to change those. We don't want to be stuck in that mindset all the time. We don't want to be thinking, oh, well, you know, might as well, again, that Monday mentality and all those things, we don't want that. And so what we need to think about also is that you're not going to gain body fat in one day, just like you're not going to lose body fat in one day. It takes time to see results. You know, like people get upset, oh, I didn't see weight loss today. It's like, yes, because you just started like two days ago. So like, what are you expecting is gonna happen in two days? You know, give it a week, give it two weeks, give it more time. Then you start to see things obviously, you know, moving in the right direction, but it is a time component. And so this is something that we really have to start to think about. Same when it comes to overeating. You didn't gain body fat in one day, right? And then surprise, surprise, you get back on track, you eat well, you do those things you need to do, and it's gonna drop back or drop, drop back down. And that's how it works, right? Because it's not body fat. It is the weight going up due to more food in your stomach, due to more carbohydrates, due to a few things like that, but it's not actual body fat. Now, if you did that for more than one day and it started to accumulate, yeah, it probably could be body fat. But if it's just one day, you guys need to take you know, a step back and just reflect and think about firstly, learning from that, why did that happen? What caused you to overeat? How can you learn from that to prevent it happening again? Because the biggest thing people do is they don't learn from their mistakes. And this is what we need to be focused on. When you learn from your mistakes, you can then avoid that happening in the future, okay? So that's what we wanna think about. When you do overeat, what caused you to overeat? Was it just a random event? Sometimes it's a random event, it just happens, that's fine. Or was it something that you, know, you didn't eat as much during the day and tried to save your calories at night? You, uh, you know, were, you were over exercising. You were stressed. You came home and you didn't have meal prep, so you ordered something. Like, what happened? How do I learn from that? And then when you get on the scale the next day, how about you don't get on the scale the next day? Because of course the weight is going to be up, and it's probably going to be up for a few days. But that doesn't mean anything as long as you're getting back on track. Because people are like, oh. My weight went up by a kilo because I overate and now it's not coming back down and it's been two days. Like, yes, things happen. Life happens. Like the body is not just like a, a spring. It doesn't just, well, a, more like a rubber band. It doesn't just bounce back straight away. It takes a few little days for the body to adjust and to, you know, adapt and to drop all those that little bit of extra water and stuff. That's fine, you know? And so you do not let that scale manipulate the way you're feeling or how you're acting or any of those things because that's when it's really going to throw you off. So what I want you to think about going forwards, again, accept that if you overeat, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Nothing's gonna happen. There's nothing bad. You just overrate. It is what it is. Get back on track. Secondly, learn from that mistake. What can you do to avoid that next time? What did you learn from this, you know, this thing that happened? Like, you know, how, how do you avoid it next time? Sorry, I repeated myself twice. So learn from your mistake. Ask yourself, why did this happen? Ask yourself, how can I avoid this next time? And then do not let that mentality throw you off for the rest of the week and start again Monday or whatever it is. Start again the next day. It's a brand new day. It's a fresh start. You eat well, you move, you do all those things. You don't overexercise. And by the end of the week, it'll come back down. And if it was only one day of overeating, you're actually going to most likely lose by the end of the week. Because people also forget, if you're in a 500 calorie deficit per day, that's 3,500 calories a week. That's uh, about 450 grams weight loss. If you have one day where you overate 500 calories, you're now in a 3,000 calorie deficit per week. If you're in a 3,000 calorie deficit per week, you do still realize you will lose a good chunk of weight. 
So that's something we also need to consider. All right, hope that made sense. If you guys have any questions, as always, message me on Instagram at Tyson the Trainer with two R's. Otherwise, I'll speak to you next time.